All right, so we're closing in the carport. Just to give you an info of what I'm doing, this is all used fencing, which if you look over here, that's one piece that's left. A neighbor was taking it down. He didn't want it. So, and this is what I did. I took it and cut the top off of them after I denailed it, cut them all apart, clean them up. Uh, I cut the ends off, the little bit of rot that was on the bottom and the ears up on top. And it actually cleans up really good. These, when you buy these buildings, they're two and a half by two and a half inch square tubing. So you can actually buy two by threes and they fit in here. But me being a tight ass, I actually took the time to rip down the two by fours from all those pieces of fence, rip them down to two by threes, two and a half inches. And then you can see, I just used two and a half inch self tapping screws. And luckily that's the nails that's left in there. I was lucky to be able to rip it down without hitting any nails. And I just used two and a half inch self tapping screws all the way through here. And so it's, it's bolted on there pretty, pretty damn good. Do we need pops to come over and shake it? No, <laughs> I want your dad come over. <laughs> and so that I don't get any daylight because I'm gonna come back behind this and I'm gonna buy some 16 foot pieces of a, a strong panel and we're gonna finish the backside. But I'm gonna put this leftover you can always find useful. That's why I don't get rid of nothing. This is the stuff we used for our retaining wall. And uh, so we're going to put this on the back side. I'm going to staple it on here. And the reason why I painted this black is because you're never going to get these perfectly seamless. Most time you can get them close, but at least you won't see no shininess. You won't see no white or nothing like that. It just looks black and it just helps hide a lot of this stuff. And down here at the end, I didn't finish it because I'm going to be building a door that somewhat mirrors the gate that I built, which I'll probably do a review over in a bit on that gate, but it looks pretty damn sweet. Don't mind all this stuff sitting around. Yeah, it's always worse before it gets better. So, yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. I'm going to close it in and stick around for the video. I'm going to, the door is not going to be on this video because... Well, it's supposed to be heating back up. It's been hot as hell out here. And hopefully the chemo lets me uh, do it. Yeah, I had to throw that in there. So it's been a while since I've done a video. It's been a month. But uh, yeah, the heat takes a toll on you. So we're gonna do a door, cut some of that out so I can access the back. And uh, yeah, enjoy the time lapse. Thanks for watching. Uh, like, maybe subscribe to help the little, little tuber out. And uh, have a nice day. And we'll see you
just a little FYI, we got a little fire pit there we've been burning all the wood on. A little bit, cut it up, burn it. Um, it's all pressure treated wood. Most people know this, it's got chemicals and stuff in it, whatever. You don't want to roast marshmallows and hot dogs on it. Don't do that, don't burn it in your house either. It ain't, no. I didn't have a three eyes. All right. All right, well, there's step one of the carport. Actually, step two of the floor. But it actually turned out really good. You can see how much wood is left over. There's only like 12 sections of fence. 12, 13, something like that. I still got it. Still got a crap load of wood. So I'm not going to close it all the way in because I still like the fresh air in here. But still, I want to smoke. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with the ceiling. But I'm probably going to put wood on the front, go build a door on the side, cut some of the metal out. And uh, one cool thing is this old drum, I'm going to cut it in half. And I got other wood over there that come from another, it's all recycled lumber. I ain't paid for no lumber. <laughs> I'm going to cut it in half and just make a, a workbench out of it. Where one half's bolted up on the wall, one other half over here. We use the Jed Greg Craig jig to put it together and uh, kind of make that all like rustic little bit or whatever. And, and I like the front. It's got uh, easy, you like. It was showing on the other side. Huh? It was showing on the other side. Was it? <laughs> yeah. You turned it in a complete circle. Well, yeah, it's got fun on both sides. I know. <laughs> but that's it for now. Uh, if you like the video, go ahead and subscribe or whatever it takes to you come back and see what else I do with it because you can see the garage. I love the way it turned out. I'm just trying to mirror it all together. You got another garage. Yes. Oh, and the old Dodge. All right, until then, have a nice day. We'll see you next time. Watch out, Elon. <laughs>